Hello, welcome back. We are working on our agamogryphs, which is a series of pictures that change at different angles. So in the last videos, we created a Roman aqueduct, and then we created a Roman Colosseum. I went ahead and added color to both of these. I made the sky different colors in each one. That way, when the picture rotated, I could tell the difference easier between the two. So what we're going to do now is flip the paper over and we're going to split this into sections because our, pig, our paper is going to have to be in strips. And I know this sounds scary because you put in a bunch of work creating your picture, but we're actually going to cut both of your pictures into strips. So you got to trust me on this. So now that I flip this picture over, okay, I'm going to put my ruler down and I'm going to divide it into one inch sections. So this paper is six inches across. So when I have my ruler at the zero over here, I'm going to make a mark at the one, two, three, four, and five. Six is the end of the paper over here. And then I'm going to take my ruler and move it up and I'm going to make one inch marks at every uh, mark at ag again. So one, two, three, four, five, and six is the paper. Then now I have a line at the top and the bottom. I can take my ruler and I'm going to connect them. So I'm going to line these two up and I'm just dragging my pencil down. This way it ensures that I create straight lines for my strips when I cut them. This is very, very important. This is, this is one of the most important parts. Okay, now I have six strips. Now, what I'm gonna do is at the bottom of the paper here, I'm gonna label this A6. Okay, it has to be six, not one, because it's gonna confuse you for the next step. This is gonna be A5. A four, A three, A two, and A one. So this is this needs to be labeled at the bottom. Then once you've done that, you need to go to this second paper and do the same thing. You can see I've already done it here. I've divided the paper into six strips, and this one I've labeled B six, B five four, three, two, and one. You need to make sure one picture says A and the other picture says B. That's also important so it doesn't confuse you when we do the next step. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut these strips very carefully. Right. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this. Then once all these strips are cut, I'm going to show you what to do in the next video.